All right, welcome back to the channel. It is uh, 24 January, 2022. And today I wanna to talk about something I just learned about, a cost-efficient way to build a mining rig. And we'll jump into that in a minute, but first, gotta go look at the coin 360. Gotta see what the markets are doing. The crypto markets are still down. Bitcoin's been hovering about 35K. Ethereum is about 2300 still mostly a sea of red. In addition today, the uh, Dow Jones and Dow, NASDAQ and S&P, they're all down today as well. Big, bigly, is that a word? Bigly. But uh, that's just the way it is. So given this market, what's going to happen? Are people going to start uh, selling their rigs, selling their GPUs? Typically what you'll find, oh, we got green. Typically what you'll find is that the prices of used GPUs and that, and even new MSRP stuff, will not show up for like two to four weeks after a correction like this. So right now things are holding. If you look at uh, GPU MSRPs and even look on eBay and StockX, uh, I've been trending and tracking whatever the uh, sold prices of GPUs and they're dropping a little bit. Maybe since December they drop maybe 50 bucks for certain cards. But they're still way up there so give it a couple weeks uh, i put the trends and uh, some scatter charts on my discord page and you can go track the trends that way or just go to ebay and go under the research and see what's sold and uh, you can find out for yourself and or StockX. that they'll show you too so that's where we're at so let's jump into it you can wait for gps to go down the consensus is for guys that have been in, in this a while is that you should just keep mining because there may be less miners, the difficulty rate will drop. Less miners mean you have a chance of getting more coins. And then the idea is you just mine these coins. Keep stacking, keep stacking, keep stacking. And the uh, logic is that you just start stacking ETH, Bitcoin. You know, you get paid out in Bitcoin or ETH or whatever you get paid out, XMR, Monero Ocean, Raptorium. You just start building up the coin base, right? You build up your base foundation of how many coins you have and hold it. And then... Hopefully down the road, we're going to see like we saw a couple months ago, boom, Bitcoin goes to 69,000. These other coins will follow Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the leader. And uh, then you just made some money. Then you dump it and make profit or just keep holding, right? And keep earning passive income on it through uh, like um, rewards and interest through Voyager or BlockFi or wherever you can get interest on your crypto. I use Voyager. All right, enough about that. Let's jump into it so here's a few cards we're gonna go through a couple again I have not bought any because I just am on hold right now buying anything trying to see where things flush out I'm just gonna keep mining with my 1.1 giga hash I know I'm a baby but uh 1.1 is fine for me right now okay this is eBay and you can go search on a BTC D37 BTC S37 and if you click on them let's look at it here's kind of what they look like they come with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Some are six to eight. And the beauty of these I like is that they come with a CPU, basic three, you know, basic CPU that that's all you need to get running. You'll need to get some uh, SODIMM DDR3 memory. You'll just buy that. You'll need to buy that. You'll need to buy a SATA drive or a uh, use a USB drive. And I think there's an M2. Yeah, you can do an M SATA 3.0, which I like. I'm kind of sold on these little things because you don't have an extra cable hanging out. You don't need to power the SATA drive if you use this SATA connector right here. Uh, you just put that in the old M SATA slot. I love those things. I'm, I'm kind of sold on going that approach. It keeps a lower form, a lower profile, less cables. I'm sold on that. So that's another plus if you're not in if if you're using SATA drives now. Look at using the M SATAs. You pay a couple bucks more for them, but it's less cables, less power to worry about. You know, you don't have a have a special SATA power cable coming out of your uh, power supply. So these are all full risers and APCIe 16x, but it's PCIe X1 for the Gen 2. So you're going to run PCIe times one X1 on all these guys. Uh, here's the power connectors, the power pin. So there's no 24 pin on this guy for the uh, like an ATX power supply but you will do uh, eight six pin PCIe power so coming out of your uh, 
HP server power supply would be the best recommendation where you have all the cables coming out. You could just do a splitter, have uh, have uh, four cables coming out with a splitter on the end and blammo, you can uh, go to the six pin and plug each one of these in and that's all you'll need. You'll be good to go and that'll, that'll get you up and running. So there's the picture on that. That gives you a nice layout on this type of board. We'll just go through it real quick. Here it is, more of the specs. Uh, let's see, we'll get into pricing in a sec. There's that. Basic, this is great. They give you actually a built-in start switch. And there you go. You can go check this out on eBay. That's one of them. This is a BTC37. And you can see roughly the price is the same. So if you go to uh, eBay, let's go back to eBay. You can see the price and look for where these things are shipping from. You can get some ship here. This one's shipping from US. Most of these you'll find are shipping from China. So it may take a month or two to get here. Uh, so be, uh, be cautious of that. Depends how fast you want these things. This guy's giving you free shipping. 162, not bad, not terrible for the motherboard. Again, you're gonna save for six PCI risers, roughly, and cables and stuff, 111 bucks. So you you won't need to buy that stuff. And this comes with a CPU as well, right there. That's, that's another plus. So all you need to buy is that memory and the uh, MSATA drive. Okay, guys, this one is a BTC37, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight slots comes with a CPU. Again, same type of setup. Comes with, a, like I said, you have to buy the memory and they have an M, M SATA slot right here. They were meant for being in chassis with uh, server chassis you see in server racks and server server rooms and stuff like that. And uh, they have the chassis fan pin. This one is actually ships from China. So that's something you got to consider and they give you an idea when it would come here about like uh, what? A month under a month three weeks so you got a plan for that I guess you could put Windows on it and have it boot up but a lot of people have just been putting nice hash OS on a uh, USB stick or um, a Hive OS I think the cons from what I've seen and I'm still on the fence of whether to buy one is a uh, cooling so the cards are close together blammo look at that so you can see there's there's how they're powering it. This is a different one where the power is coming in on the side and then they power from the other ones right here. Let's click, can we make this, there we go. So they have the power supply feeding the board and then from the board, they're feeding the GPUs. Different layout, different type of approach. Uh, but you can see how close the cards can get and this is one of the the racks you could, you could get, but these racks I'm sure are a couple hundred bucks. So, but th this gives you an idea how close they sit together. And so the concern there, the con, would be airflow and cooling. That's pretty much the only con other than shipping time. But again, you can find shops in the U.S. that are selling these cards and pick them up. And for the price, it might not be worth just experimenting with it. The price is decent. They're cost efficient. I like the MSATA drive. And then you just got to get the DDR3 SODIMM uh, 4, four or 8 gigabyte memory will work. I do have risers. I'm gonna, since I bought them, I'm going to use them. I'm going to build another $14 wood frame to put um, some 6600s on. And uh, then I'll be out of risers. And then my next purchase, if GPUs drop, is uh, potentially to buy one of these boards. The thing with the ASRock board, let's go over there, is it does not come with a chip. So you're going to be out. I think these are a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, so these are more pricey, but they do not come with a CPU. They're LGA 1200 Intel. So if you look at it, this is a good uh, a good site to go through at ashrock.com, H510 Pro BTC. It gives you an idea if you want to do more research. So this is, a again, one without a CPU. It comes with, though, the 24-pin uh, the, uh, ATX power connector. All right, so here's a good site to go check out. Six times PCI Express 3.0 times 16 slots, one USB mining port for installing up to seven graphics cards. So here again, here's what they're selling. 
this is the plus, and here's a great photo. It shows you uh, one, two, three, four, six GPUs tucked in there nicely. Again, you gotta buy the CPU, the memory, and the drive on the other one, they give you the CPU. So riser kit free, install graphics cards directly on the motherboard without using riser kits to ensure ultimate stability. Now the problem is though, the frames are nice because you're just gonna have these cards just in that PCIe slot. It could get a little wobbly. So unless you have a frame holding that top bracket, that could be the con too. That could be a con, like these are a little wobbly. All right, that is all I got. Just another way to possibly build a cost efficient mining rig with GPU prices hopefully going down with the uh, crypto crash. You know, people bailing on mining because it's not gonna be as profitable, blah, blah, blah. But it, like I said earlier, it could be. You just keep mining, stacking coins, hold them, and then when crypto returns, you're gonna be looking pretty good. All right, that is all I got. I hope this helps. Uh, let me know if you're using one of these boards and if you have any issues with heating and or power. I'm really concerned about the heat issue with the uh, cards that close together, um, whether it's a pro or con or whether it's manageable and how you got around it and what kind of frame you're using as well, if any. I don't wanna get a case, but do you recommend getting a case like one of those Octominer cases? Uh, but again, that's another cost. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this. It looks appealing. I like the rise of this and uh, I like the compactness. I like the ones that come with the CPU in it and uh, the price. All right. That's all I got. Hope this helps. Talk to you later. I'm out. All right. Take care.